Hey, what it do, lovely people? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. <sighs> it's a hot ass day, 92 degrees outside, and um, I just got off of work and I am gonna seize the day. Get a good workout in this evening and um, just chill out and get ready to do it again tomorrow. But um, <clears throat> Cowboys uh, signed a new wide receiver because, of course, injuries have been piling up and some of the starters have been sitting out. Now, uh, this guy's name is Drez Anderson. He's mm, a journeyman, I guess you could say. He's been around the league. He, uh, he just got cut from the um, Indianapolis Colts over the weekend. He played with the Houston Texans and the 49ers. Brief stints on their practice squad. Now, uh, when he he's he went to college at Utah. Just a little bit about the guy. He went to college at Utah. Um, he had a thousand yard season, I think, his senior year. Real skinny, tall guy. Kind of, kind of, kind of shifty guy. Um, but um, again, I think that he's just a camp body. He's just here to fill up the 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 time until these veterans come back. It's Cole Beasley dealing with um a groin. Deontay Thompson has uh what is it uh Achilles strain Achilles you know not not a tear y'all but it's just a strain so it's you know they don't want it to get worse so they're resting that um Alan Hearns had a groin I mean everybody's dealing with something Noah Brown still out with his hamstring so again we got top wide receivers out right now so we need somebody to play in these preseason games because you're not going to start your starters all the time so with that being said they got to go out here and get these camp bodies, and that's what it is. So, um, of course, there's always a casualty when you have to sign a player. So, they uh, got rid of defensive end Joby St. Fleur, which is a nice little na name. I like that. St. Fleur. <laughs> um, I get, you probably guys probably didn't even know he was on the team. Like Nobody knew who he was. But, again, he was a bubble guy anyway, so he was next in line to get cut. So, that's just what happens, unfortunately. Um they wave injured a couple of players because they were injured. And again, these are camp bodies, so they need to keep rotating the roster, get fresh bodies in here for these preseason games, and see who can ultimately make this team because that's what it's all about at the end. Um, Travis Frederick was missing. He's dealing with the – he went to go to Los Angeles to go uh, visit a specialist on his shoulder because now he's starting to have stingers in it. So he wanted to make sure that um, everything is good for the season. So, But just in case he – just in case he misses a game or two, because he's never missed a game in his in his five year career yet. But if for some reason he's not ready for the first uh, uh, regular season game, then they'll probably promote Joe Lean, Juni, Looney. Now we can't call him Looney Tunes no more because your boy Joe Looney have been showing up, and he's actually been coming out here and he's been showing the team. They're like, look, I'm a funny guy, I'm a jokester, I'm a class clown, and all that. But at the end of the day, I come here to work. And he's he's been working hard this off season, so a lot of people have been taking Joe for a joke, but Jumbo Joe ain't no joke. So you know, I respect the guy. I really like him because he has a great attitude. And hey, I love a fun loving dude because I'm I'm a clown too. So you know, I love to have fun. Love to you know, that's just that's just the way I am. But you know, that's just a quick update on that. Um, Everything else is everything, you know. Training camp, there's a couple of days left before they uh, break camp. Um, Preseason game this weekend against the Cincinnati Bengals. After that, they go back and finish camping um, at the Star back home in Texas. So, so yeah. Um, uh, I, I love to see, I love the camaraderie on this team right now. I, I love these guys meshing together. Um, I mentioned Tavon Austin. Excuse me, Tavon Austin again showing leadership and showing that, hey, I belong on this team. I know I'm a, a new veteran on this team, but I see that we need some leadership in this locker room, especially when it comes to receivers. So I'm going to step up and I'm going to be that guy. I can't fault him for that. You know, I, I look at myself in a lot of situations because, I, I, like, I, like I said, I'm a fun-loving guy. I'm a guy that I'm easy to talk to. Some of you guys that met me in Texas, you guys know. Like, I'll talk to anybody. I don't have any preference. You know what I mean? Like, if you're if you're positive and you're respectful, I'm the same way. But my biggest pet peeve is disrespect. I've had a couple people disrespect me and call me out my name, but I'm not I'm not about that. So you know. I'm all about promoting positivity on my channel and I'm all about promoting other people. And hey, 
and you guys because you guys are fans. You guys watch the channel. You guys support us because we're all striving to do the same thing. So if it wasn't for us doing the same thing, then, you know, what are we doing this for? So, like I said, I'm, I'm all about the positivity and that negative stuff can go somewhere else. So if you're about the positivity, then I accept you. So anyway, um, with that being said... Um, like, share, comment. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.